Let's talk to Rufus. You got a side quest going on for us? Hi there, I'm ASDF. Or, hi, I'm Rufus. How did you find this place? I like that we barged in, beat up some of this guy's robots that he was keeping in the back room, called him by name. We're like, hey Rufus, can we, uh, can we get a uh, metal detector, please? And he's like, why do you need it? And we're like, you know what, never mind. Hi, I'm ASDF. And he's like, uh, hi, I'm Rufus. And just completely ignoring the fact that we've already called him Rufus. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF. I was just going through uh, everything with the, the new vocal processing chain that I have. Um, so if you guys are on stream, you get to hear about all the vocal processing, but uh, yeah. We need to find the astronomy course. We also need to complete the chemicals course, but I think we're going to have to go to the library first to, to get the recipe for the chrome polish. So yeah, it says if you're having trouble at college, you can always try getting some help at the library. That's just real life, honestly. Okay find the astronomy classroom, which we know is right here. I mean, it's it's over. Oh, it's not. Steam tunnel access. This seems like I shouldn't be here. The sign says, steam tunnel access, protective gear recommended but not provided. We don't need protective gear. Spider wing maintenance access to hex rock mines. What is this? Somebody found a warm, if not particularly luxurious place. The box says free shoes. You got sneakers. Move quietly at a brisk pace. Nice, okay. Uh, translate the hobo code. Try ordering stuffed pepper style. A secret menu item. But what is that even? Abandoned tools? A chunk of lead? That sounds pretty good. I wonder if that'll increase the, uh, the rolling pin damage. But I'm not sure. Door has a combination lock. Does this go on forever? Oh my goodness, this is this is pretty nuts. There's a weird set of mirrors. Uh, oh, there you are. Okay, bye ASDF. Scientific vessel, a crate of arcane hot plates, 80% uh, garbage and 20% miscellaneous parts. Okay. Gold-plated cable, just sell it. Rufus apparently discarded this cable after it was chewed on by a rat, okay. Um, well, we don't have enough moxie to keep going. We can enter the Robo Fray. They don't seem that strong, and they probably don't have a lot of spell resistance. Not that I'm gonna win anyways, because what am I supposed to do here? When they kill me first turn, it's kinda like, okay, what do I, what do, I do with that, you know? Now I have plus one anger. Which means we have a lot of, um, we have a lot of death perks here. I mean, you can see them. We got, oh, does it replace them? Effects? Yeah. So this one was because we lost, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. All because we lost. So let's try again. Am I gonna die first turn again? Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's just dust them all. 18 damage to everybody. Robot fuel makes you act earlier in combat. Oh, we need that. I don't even care what other potion we had. We need this one right now. Mmm, where's potions? I probably literally had my thing on it. Okay, we're drinking this. I know we're gonna lose probably plus four damage, but then we won't get one shot. So it should be me first, yes. Let's set everybody on fire, and then we'll boost our allies, and then we'll rolling pin. That's amazing. This is amazing. What's up, Yoshi? Welcome, welcome. Um... Hey Rufus, can I borrow your metal detector? Sure, if you have a good and specific reason for needing it. Um, because I like things made of metal and would like to find more of them? Nope, not specific enough. Rats. Bookcase full of books, we can make some potions. Don't really want to. Case full of roaches, why would anybody do that? Someone's living down here. What is this thing in the corner? It's collecting steam for some reason. And then this looks dangerous, got it. Let's talk to Rufus. You got a side quest going on for us? Hi there, I'm ASDF. Or, hi, I'm Rufus. How did you find this place? I like that we barged in, beat up some of this guy's robots that he was keeping in the back room, called him by name. We're like, hey Rufus, can we, uh, can we get a uh, metal detector, please? And he's like, why do you need it? And we're like, you know what, never mind. Hi, I'm ASDF. And he's like, uh, hi, I'm Rufus. And just completely ignoring the fact that we've already called him Rufus. I was just kind of poking around in the steam tunnels exploring, you know? Ah, yeah, that's a popular pastime around here. The kids call it hacking. I guess I should have anticipated that when I set up this secret lab. He must make chairs. Ha! 
Uh, why do you have a secret lab? Was the department out of regular labs? I'm not actually supposed to be here at all. I used to teach her, but they let me go. Oh, what happened? Did they fire you for using the forbidden math? Not at all. SIT's the last place that they would fire you for that. I was joking. They fired me because I didn't make tenure. I was too busy trying to find out what happened to my missing brother to publish any original research. Well, that hardly seems fair. It's probably just as well. I don't think I was cut out for being a professor anyway. Department politics are maximally bogus, as the students would say. Bro, that's maximally bogus. So, you set up this hidden lab to continue the search for your brother? Yes, basically, although I'm taking a more roundabout r route to it now. Well, what happened to your brother? I left home when I was 14 and headed north. Well, he called it west back then. He spirited the expedition that pushed the Transcontinental Railroad all the way to Frisco. <gasps> Rufus is the brother of the original protagonist! That's the Rufus! Dude! Okay. Wow, yeah, he was kind of famous for a while. I used to get postcards from him all the time, but one day, poof, just vanished off the face of the earth. I talked to all his friends from back then, but nobody knows where he went. My only guess is that he decided to keep heading north and hopped on a ship. Uh, I couldn't get any passenger records dating that far back, though, so that was pretty much it as far as the leads. Huh. What are you working on now? Well, this is gonna sound crazy, but you know we have a saying here at SIT, science that nobody understands is called magic, and science that only one person understands is called mad science. Honestly though, that's, that's kinda how it is. Uh, I see, so you're doing a little bit of dabbling in the forbidden arts, eh? Oh, no, I checked the rulebook thoroughly, and nothing specifically forbids what I'm doing. Haha, <laughs> I get you. So what's the plan? Uh, well, I've just met you, and I hesitate to get someone else mixed up in this. Oh, I'm pretty mu I'm pretty mixed up already. In the last few days, I've had to deal with fairies, time holes, shadow monsters, gross fishmen. You know about the fishmen? That's perfect. I can definitely use your help. I'm glad it wasn't the fairies you were interested in. Yeah, for real. I am curious, but some other time maybe. What I'm focused on now is predictive quantum telecommunications. I'm gonna need you to explain that to me. Well, there's this brand new field of physics called quantum mechanics. It's only a couple of years old, but if some of the theories pan out, it could be staggering. But the specific part that I'm interested in is that quantum particles appear to be able to communicate over long distances instantaneously, and I think this might be an explanation for the magical concept of clairvoyance. Clairvoyance? You mean as in psychic stuff? Tarot cards and crystal balls? Crystal balls! Yes, exactly! I'm trying to make a crystal ball that will show me where my brother is, and maybe even let me communicate with him. Neat! How can I help? Okay, well all the fishmen in this region come from a single source called the Fish Mother. She's sort of like a queen bee, you know? This one creature laid all the fishmen eggs, which is a little weird actually, biologically speaking, because that indicates a dangerous lack of genetic diversity. What? See, honeybees avoid inbreeding uh, through an extremely high rate of genetic recombination, but the fishmen don't have that advantage, so one would think inbreeding would- What? Uh, never mind, sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. The important thing is, the fish mother is thought to have a sort of magic psychic link with all the fishmen. Psychic, gotcha. So, what do you need? Well, legend has it that the fish mothers occasionally make huge, beautiful pearls. How they make them is probably too gross to think about, but my working theory is, if it has the right kind of fish mother DNA in it, I might be able to reconfigure it to make my own psychic link. I haven't understood basically anything you've said, so that sounds perfectly reasonable. You need me to get one of those pearls? Yeah, the fish mother's lair is down by the river, but the entrance is sort of uh, an organic valve. Oh jeez, it's a huge butthole, isn't it? I was gonna say cloaca, but yes, it's, it's a huge butthole that keeps out anything that isn't related to the fish mother. Gross! <laughs> so how do I get in? You aren't gonna like it. I already don't like it. I can make a sort of disguise goop to cover you with. Swell, how much am I getting paid for this? I, uh, don't actually have much meat left after setting this lab up, but maybe the fish mother's lair has some treasure in it? I mean, definitely. The fish mother's lair definitely has a whole lot of great treasure in it. Sure, I'll help. Great! In order to make the fishman disguise goop, I'm gonna need some fishman eggs, about three pounds of them according to my calculations. But if the eggs are laid in the fish mother's lair... No, the regular fishermen carry them around to keep an eye on them. They have a bunch of little hideouts all over the SIT campus in Ocean City, or rather, all under, uh, I should say, since they're mostly in the sewers. Well, this just keeps getting better and better. Here, you'll need one of these to open the manhole covers. We got an antique manhole opener. Great. Wish me luck. Well, that's good. Oh, you forgot to do this earlier. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Greenhouse access is barred from the other side. The rat waves at you as you approach. Hey there, little fella. What's shaking? 
The rat dashes into his hole and returns holding a tiny piece of cheese. He points at you, sweeps his arm broadly from left to right, and then points at the cheese. He stares at you for a few seconds and then eats the crumb. Do you want me to bring you more cheese? The rat nods and scurries around in a quick little circle. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Ooh, let's reach into this. We got shadow beer. Steam powered. Everything's steam powered. Wait, what's this one then? The door is painted shut from the side. Okay. Oh, that was loud. Wow, okay. A harsh buzzing noise and a shower of sparks are her only reply. This terminal must be broken. We bypass the lock and go on in there. A massive steam powered freezer. It's probably full of jumbo shrimp and military intelligence. Am I right? We got a frigid ice cream scoop. That's pretty good. And there's a book. Grab it. Short stories of long winters gives hot armor. It's a skill though. I wonder if it's a passive skill. Let's see. Let's read it. Um, I choose not to be cold. Oh, it's a perk. Yeah. All right. Um, skill upgraded. Skill upgraded. We... That's a really long skill. Four hot armor though. That's... That's... It's pretty good. Okay. We should have been going in all of these things, so... Oh, uh, okay. That's a manhole cover. Sure, we'll, we'll do, use the cursed fishing rod. We gotta uncurse the fishing rod, honestly. It's probably gonna get into some, like, upgraded, holy, blessed fishing rod of... something. I don't know. Okay, looks like that's all that was here. Oh, um... There are no fishmen in this particular pool, but there's a massive, horrible, slimy, wriggling golf ball-sized eggs floating in it. Like the world's biggest and most awful glass of bubble tea. Ugh. Imagine using giant fish eggs as boba. Mmm, no thanks. No, thank you. Okay, I guess we don't have to fight any of them because... Oh, we can fish in it. Don't mind me, fish guys. Just gonna... Fish. Shadow salad? Whoa, that's amazing. Increases magical weapon attacks by five. And it's, I think it's a food. Is that all we needed? We only needed that amount of row. Spider wing maintenance access. Oh, uh, let's see what's behind this door. We got an SIT puzzle ring. Okay, well, we'll use that later, I'm sure. Two Hex Rock Mines. There's a note. Attention access to Hex Rock Quarries prohibited except with written permission from the Geology Department or a very good reason. It's barred from the other side. Okay. The Death Door. Oh. Uh. Restroom for employees only. You're not an employee sneak in anyway. No one's paying mine. I guess it wouldn't hurt. 30 XP for flushing the toilet. Okay, smarty pants, there's a sign over the sink that says employees must wash hands. Since you're an employee, that means you, right? Yeah, there we go. All clean and sanitary, which will be extremely safe for the customers of this restaurant when you're serving them food later, during your shift, because you work here. Whatever, weirdo. Okay, let's talk to... Can't talk to him, let's talk to her. Uh, the girl behind the counter gives you a sly in the know kind of a nod and wink. Haven't seen me before. Haven't seen you in here before, bud. Welcome to the finest hash house in the whole underground restaurant scene. Underground restaurant scene? That's right. Wait, you ain't a copper, are you? You gotta tell me if you are. No, I'm not a cop. Actually, they don't have to tell you. In case you're ever in a situation where you're asking people if they're cops, they don't have to tell you. Okay, copacetic. In that case, we got no beef. Got no beef anyway. It's a fish place. Okay. Poster on the wall there spells out the racket. If you need an explainer, what can I get you? Let's read the menu. We refuse to be stifled and shackled by the narrow definitions of sandwich imposed on us by the man, by which we are specifically referring to Charles Chip Man, owner and proprietor of the Greasy Spoon Upstairs. To that end, we have taken control of the secret basement, as well as whatever ingredients we can filch and or finagle, to bring you the true taste of freedom, unfettered by hoity-toity cuisine conventions and municipal sanitation and hygiene requirements. Gross. Um... The forbidden fission soda? Increases all armor by two. Yeah, let's grab one of those just in case. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need any of the rest of the stuff. Can I... 
There was a sign that said, try ordering stuffed pepper style. But stuffed pepper style is not a thing. Okay, let's climb down here. Is this gonna be the same? Oh, oh, it's not. Well, I'm gonna fish in this part of the river. It's flowing, it's the same river. Unless we catch stuff from the bottom and drag it up to the top, which it seems like is what's happening if they're fish inside of sacks. Okay, we got everything here. Um, those are the clean dishes. Oh, given this cat's condition, it can only be named Stinky. Oh, it's cute. What's this big old pot doing over here? We can fish in the pot. You got enough nasty go already, no need to fish up more. Okay, great. He seems delighted that you asked what's for sale. He plonks a tin bucket full of raw chopped up fish parts onto the counter and garnishes it with a lemon wedge. Then he makes an expansive gesture at it like a used car salesman and waggles all ten of his fingers at you. Great, we got a bucket of chum. Gross. You're pretty sure one of the fish heads twitch as you pick up the bucket. He roots around behind the counter for something else to sell you. He holds up a fishing spear with a hole, still wiggling fish impaled on it from his gestures and excited babbling. It seems like you get to keep the spear is the main selling point here. When he asks, uh, when you ask how much, he flashes his outstretched fingers at you twice. We got a throwing spear. He graciously bows graciously as he hands you the spear, um, and then you slide the fish off. Okay, shows you a small glass bottle filled with oil. Great. Um, we're just gonna buy all of this stuff. Market price. We got another bucket of chum. 75, okay. He seems to be out of goods, but not wanting to turn away his best customer ever, he plops a big handful of fishman eggs on the counter. That's how we get another pound. Um, he holds up one outstretched hand, then repeatedly opens and closes it 12, 13, 14 more times. There we go. We got fishman row. I don't know if we need three of them, but he said three pounds, so I imagine probably we need three of them. This, can we break the lock off? No, and this is going in a circle. Um, you know what, let's check. Oh, hello again. Hi, I'm still looking for the eggs. Okay, good luck. Yeah, greenhouse access, barred. Um, oh, we can conjure up some cheese, because we're a cheese wizard. Give him the cheese. The rat sniffs at the cheese and makes a few delighted noises. He drags the cheese into his hole and emerges with a ring. You got fights will be extremely chaotic. That sounds interesting. What's our current ring? Increases familiar stats. We don't need that. Let's go let's go with the let's go with the chaos ring. Yeah. And then let's uh let's just immediately go. Well, we're still looking for a manhole cover. Um we went down that one, apparently. Uh, the spider wing has nothing in here. The mines. Oh, was there a thing in the mines? No, we can't get into the mines either. We got the one in the restaurant. And that door was locked. Um, still working on those eggs. Let's, uh, ask Rufus. What's this robot battle arena door all about? That's my robot battle arena. Why do you have a robot battle arena? The fact that you even asked that question makes me think you'll never understand the answer. How many robots are in there? They're capable of self-assembly and replication, so it's hard to say, and it's also critical that you never accidentally leave the door open. Solid. Alright, let's fight. Fights are gonna be chaotic now, right? But why was there a mushroom man there? Is that because it's chaotic? Plus one to all stats for Todd the Turtle. That's a great upgrade. Also, I'm still trying to read this book. So, um... We're gonna need, we're gonna need more XP. What? We had a tentacle on our side. Okay. This is great. This is just, this is how fights should be. We got more robot fuel, which is amazing. Going first um, was the best thing that ever happened to us for farming experience. What? Is, what is this guy? Tommy, what? Puck Wudgy Masur. Okay, we're gonna Tommy gun that guy to death. Todd grows stronger. Todd, you are the man. Okay, we got inventory, books, we're gonna read this thing. We can keep going? How many- this is an apt title for this stream. Man, I mean, how many times do you think we can read this book? We can keep going? We're just gonna be immune to hot damage. Why are we poisoned? Why- why did poison come up from the ground? I know we're in the sewer. 
I am I am really digging this this chaotic fights thing. And Todd is just growing super strong. We should get a familiar that does damage. We should go back to that pet store. In the is it the greenhouse? In the park in the first zone. Okay, I think. Keep reading. Wait, we could do another one. Tentacles on their side now, of course. This is this is making it so easy. The fact that we get to go first and second. And the fact that I'm doing like mega damage to everybody. Poison doesn't affect robots, that makes sense. I was wondering why only our side got poisoned. Okay. Reed, we don't have enough yet. Okay, one more fight. Stats doubled. Ah, too bad they didn't get any defense. We can do it again? How much are we gonna do? Plus eight hot armor. Maybe we can just read this book forever. Okay, we're gonna read it one more time, which means we need probably four more fights. Which is fine, because they're going really fast. Also, we're getting so many things that we could sell. Um, this is the fourth fight, right? I think so. Yeah. Let's, uh... Oop. Read? Uh, the book is a collection of short stories about men who defy all wisdom and warnings to go hiking alone in the Sub-Zero West. At the end of each story, the man dies. Maybe there's a lesson in that. There's a hundred of these stories. They're all like this. Are there literally a hundred? Another story of a man freezing to death in the Sub-Zero West and another conclusion in which the narrator, the, the narrator, rejects the premise entirely. I would never go somewhere cold, they write. I would never put myself in that position. There's a hundred of those stories. This this book probably goes on for literally a hundred. Like we can we can get a hundred hot armor from this book if if we decide to keep going. Let's do one more. So we'll do like six more fights. Maybe we'll do ten more fights. I mean this is like really easy, so. We should have equipped we should equip a ring that gives us more experience from fights. Let me see. Uh Let's, uh... Because the, the Chaos thing is good, but it's actually taking longer. So, Shadow Banishing, five extra XP from fights would be good. Um... Yeah, I think this uh, more XP from fights thing would be good for farming. Because we're only, yeah, we went from 20 to 25, so that's one less fight every four fights that we do. We get a free one. I wonder how our, uh, our rolling pin is doing on the durability. 14.78 out of 15. Um, okay, we need to read the book. Read the book. Boom. Okay, we have 10 now. And then we know we can come back here for XP real easy. Let's equip the raucous fracas. Nice. What was the other ring? Friendship? You know what, let's just keep on the SIT class ring. We need more fish eggs too, so I think we gotta go under the restaurant again. Is that where they had those pits? No, it was the other one. It's the one from out here. But maybe we'll climb back up. The goblin is cooking something in the corner? Okay. We need to do astronomy too. Why is there steam coming out of this? Okay, access granted. This must be the teacher, or at any rate, he's sitting at the teacher's desk. Oh, hello, are you taking my astrology course? Astrology? I thought this was supposed to be astronomy. Astrology is kind of unscientific for SIT, isn't it? Mm, yes, well, some take that narrow pedestrian view, certainly, such as the Dean and the Grant Committee. But I suppose if you're just here for astronomy, I can give you the edited version of the course. I'm actually in a hurry, so that'd be great. I have 15 constellations diagrammed... <laughs> Excuse me. On the blackboard behind me, only 12 of them are genuine. All you have to do is mark the three false ones. Seems pretty straightforward. How do I find out which are which? By exploring the heavens themselves. Come again? There's a telescope on the roof of SIT's spider wing. You can get there through the scalar wing. 
Okay, I thought you were gonna teach me how to do astral travel or something. No, I saved that for the 201. Okay, which ones? Texas isn't real. The cube isn't real. And... Oh, which other one isn't real? I feel like they're all real. Texas is not, the cube is not, and I think probably the beer is not. Let's let's just see if that works. What can I do for you? Um, I'm ready for you to check my work. All right, let's have a look. Mm, sorry, that's incorrect. You must have the cigar in your second house. Is that an insult? Go and have another look through the telescope. Okay, we'll go. We'll go look through the telescope. Am I stuck behind these desks? Do they go all the way to the back? Okay. We did look through the telescope before too, but I guess we can go to the scalar wing. Easy. Oh, we can solve the equations. 20 XP for solving equations. Okay, it's the spider wing. The roof is at the top. Oh, wait, the steam vent seemed loose. We can take it. We got a loose steam vent. The steam vent wasn't attached to the floor, so you took it. Okay. Okay, here's the telescope. Okay, the gun is real, the pencil, the octopus. Um, what else? The fish, we already knew about the fish. The snow cone. The meat. Okay, but how does this... There's a lot of them that aren't listed here. Right? Yeah, I've gone to all the edges and we've gone through the middle. So... I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we need to point it the other way, maybe? No? Seems weird, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we can go straight to Rufus's lab. I was hoping that would take us back. Actually, we need to go to the vector wing. Honig, or hello, do you find yourself in need of a fuse this day? I have one, but two would be better. There we go, all tech men carry fuses. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, we need... Um, oh, right, I can't find all the constellations. They don't show up in the telescope. Ah, oh, yes, you could say there's a trick to it. And the trick is, well, if I just told you the mysteries of the cosmos, it wouldn't be a learning experience. You are literally a teacher though, right? Everything in life is a matter of perspective. You just need to learn how to look at things from a different point of view. Okay, we need to we need to move the telescope, right? We'll go back. We'll move the telescope. We use boundless charisma in the fact that your finger is on the pulse of modern USD. You rewrite the material to be edgier and more exhilarating. Those kids are gonna learn so much their sunglasses will fly off. Tuzaya, what's up? How you doing? It's been a minute. I feel like you popped in and said hello and then um, kind of, kind of fell off, but happy to have you. Oh, Zypher, that's right. Ah, I knew, I was like, I've seen you as Tuzaya before, so why the name change? Um, we're going to the scalar wing to go back, ooh, ooh, advanced magne magnetospheric flux grants a spell damage perk. Oh yeah, oh, oh, we're gonna read that thing. Right, we're gonna read that thing right now. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. It's all about, you've already learned everything you can learn. <sighs> I thought we could learn it again. Mm, okay, we can't fight the spiders. Can we move the telescope now, please? Please? Can we, can we, how, how do we? Come on. Point the other way. How do I... How do I do the thing? Okay, well we know it's not... We know it's not the octopus, pencil, snow cone, fish, meat, or gun. We can probably just do guess and check on the other ones and that would be okay. Although I feel like... You know what? We just need to go to the library. And that'll help us with the science at B A S E B A L L. What does it spell? 
baseball. Yes, hooray! We got it right that time! Let us now spell another one! Good, yes, what is it to spell? Oh, electroencephalographically. I believe that would be where on the brain is the electronic impulse coming from? Because enceph is brain, graphic is, well, picture. Electro, so, ele I don't know. I don't know. Maybe how the brain lights up, depending on the images that you put in front of it. Library, we need to ask questions. I need help with my classes. Know anything about chemicals? Mm, not much more than the next fellow. Try asking Janet. She's more of the scientific minded about us. Uh, I need help with my classes. Know anything about phys ed? Well, for a start, I can tell you that a proper stretching exercise is vital to success in every sport. What sport is your class concerned with? Food fighting. All right, well, maybe not that one. I suppose the best advice would be just have at it. Give it a go. If you lose your fellow students pep talk, uh, give your fellow students a pep talk and they'll climb back up in the saddle. Great. Um, I need help with astronomy. I've been known to dabble. The telescope on the roof of SIT has a beautiful view, but it only shows half of the constellations. Half? Oh, of course, it seems that way to you because you only have one face. What? You've only been seeing the western hemisphere of the sky. You need the southern hemisphere as well. The west and south are opposites now. How do I do that? Merely reposition the telescope to point southward. Down, in other words. Down? But of course, you've seen the maps before, surely. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, we need to talk to Janet. Know anything about chemicals? Mostly just the ones concerned with digestion, but I have been to visit the chemicals department before. Did you notice the bronze statue in the foyer? Um, it's a life-size statue of Dr. Adams, the founder of the department. Not just life-size, but incredibly lifelike as well. Whoever sculpted it sure knew a thing or two about bronze. Okay, um, that's not particularly helpful, but we can go reposition the telescope now. Point it down. You seem to have taken a wrong turn somewhere, unless you're trying to get to the subterranean maintenance corridor filled with steam pipes. Maybe you were. Okay, we can walk through the steam this time. We've seen that event before, so I'm not going to read it again. We can go to the roof through the spider wing. We can point the telescope down, point it downward. Look in the eyepiece. This seems odd. Okay, there's the cube, there's the spider, there's the pickle, there's the stick figure, and the fly swatter and the spiral. So it's the house, it's Texas, and it's something else that we'll probably come up with on the spot. Because it'll just stand out as it doesn't didn't belong or something. Okay, we'll go to astronomy. We can mark this one. We can mark Texas and we can mark the beer mug. Wait. I didn't see the house either. Oh, we saw the fly swatter. I was like why did I pick the fly swatter? We saw it's, it's Texas, the beer mug in the house. Oh, it's Dennis is the guy. Okay, ready for you to check my work. All right, let's have a look. He turns and scans the blackboard. Yes, well done. You're quadrupus, clearly. Uh, here, let me sign your course transcript. Is that because it only has four legs? Nice, okay. Um, we're done with that, now we just need to figure out this chemical thing. Maybe we'll go to chemicals. Uh, okay. You wander through a doorway marked Department of Esoteric and Forbidden Mathematics and immediately get lost despite the fact that it was a single straight hallway without any intersections. The walls and floor meet at weird angles, and I didn't mention the ceiling because there isn't one, just another wall. And you're desperately trying to keep your cool and figure your way out of here, an office door opens, and a cloud of irrational numbers seeps out. So irrational that you might as well call them insane. We're just gonna dust them. We got loose integers. Okay. Okay, chemicals here. Chemicals, chemicals. We still need to talk to this guy. What am I supposed to be doing? Polish for chrome. Man, I just don't know. Can't flip through that. We can experiment. We only have two chemicals, though. And we did all of the possible combinations, so... We need to figure out a different way to figure out how to do this. We'll, we'll fight whoever it is. Oh boy, okay. We're gonna unleash the fire. We're going to increase our teammates' stats. And then we're going to rolling pin everybody. Oh boy, 16 damage though is pretty good. 
I might die. I'm dead. That's not good. This is not, mm, it's not good. Todd went into the negative for health. These guys are really tough to beat. We'll beat him someday. Okay, uh, library. Let's ask the eyeball, maybe. Um, never mind. Don't want to start a conversation with him. I need help with chemicals. Try asking Janet. Janet, I need help with chemicals. Maybe there's a book about it. Okay, maybe there's not a book about it. I'm looking for a book. Uh, I don't know the title of the book or what it's about. All I know is that it's a hardcover and about so big and probably an antique. Well, something of that size and age would be in our stacks. All the books out front here are the ones that won't be mourned if an undergrad doodles in the margins or uses a slice of bologna as a bookmark. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what to do about this chrome polish business because we've gone just about everywhere and I don't know what to do now. Find a discarded gym bag on the sidewalk. The bag is full of rocks. Somebody must have been using it for strength training. Upon even closer examination, uh, it confirms this as the rocks are themselves covered with residual strength. You scrape it off. <laughs> Try coming back tomorrow. I'm looking for a manhole cover now. I wouldn't even know. Maybe Ovid's shop has one. Um, we'll erase the physics equations. Maybe this guy's got... Oh, we can fish in the barrels. Nice. We'll fish in the barrels. We got a waterlogged backpack. Seems good. Okay. What's up with all these beds? We already asked him that, so... Okay. Let's, let's buy the gymnast shoes. Let's buy His Majesty's least favorite poem. Let's sell advanced um, flux because we already bought it. Increases all of your- oh, that's- that's really good, but we already have it. Plus three to range weapon attacks. Um... Alright. This is- this is- you know what? This is fine. So we need now... We can read the poems. You're not even interested in the poems of George V, sort of like. You're- there's no way you're reading these. Great. Well, we have an uninteresting book now. And we are no closer to a manhole cover. Do you find yourself in need of a fuse? No thank you. Until next semester then. Admissions department? Maybe the gift shop has something? No. How do you need something? Oh, wait. We can ask him about a chrome polish? No. Uh, the barbecue wing, eh? I used to keep my lunch in the freezer in the frozen foods room there. Why'd you stop? Door got wedged shut somehow. Only way to get there now is to go through the steam tunnels. Ain't much point to keeping lunch in a freezer if you're gonna carry it through those hot steam tunnels after. What kind of lunch do you keep in a freezer anyway? Ice cubes. Oh. Okay. Um, we asked him about the mopping and the hallways. What about the spider wing? Um... Oh, what's up with that spider wing? Sheesh. Uh, I pert much gave up on that place long ago. It just ain't possible to keep the webs under control. Plus, one of them dang spiders stole my dentures last time I was there. Can you believe it? Varmin scuttled off behind a drinking fountain. Say, if you find yourself over that way, you mind keeping an eye out for those dentures? I miss eating solid foods. Okay, I'll get his dentures. What about the vector wing? Someone scribbled weird symbols on the wall next to the Paradox Lab. Don't know why anybody would do a full thing like that, considering how every classroom has got a chalkboard for scribbling. Okay, we already asked him about that. And that, so let's go back to the spider wing. At least we can do side quests. Advanced neurological anatomy. Uh, we can use an extra combat. Okay, that's a deal. Because we haven't read that one yet. Boom, energized brain. We can use an additional combat per round. Spider wing, dentures, look behind the fountain. Five spooky armor. There's a massive spider with human teeth. Gross. Every inch of your skin suddenly trades places with a different inch. Okay, we need spooky armor. There was a food, right, that gave us... No, not that. Um, you know what, let's just filter by elemental armor for spooky. Forbidden fission soda. Oh, well, how much spooky armor do we currently have? 
Because if we need three, we'll eat the fairy dust. Um, otherwise, let's see. We have no spooky armor. And I don't know... Okay, hang on. Elemental spooky armor. This is a potion, this is a potion. So we can't even, we can't even do it. Because we don't have any spooky armor stuff. So... I just, I don't even know. What are we supposed to do? We need to help Rufus. Oh, you know what, maybe the, uh... We can, we can dust these fools. Oh, he's still alive. We'll shoot him. Unidentified chemicals. Nice. Sinister precipitate. Todd's growing stronger. Um, greenhouse access. Give him the cream cheese. We gotta, oh. Okay. Brain coral ring. Mind melt also increases your mysticality by three. And a jagged ring, when you apply bleeding, apply two extra. Okay, that's interesting at the very least. I'm looking for some kind of sewer or something. There's gotta be more eggs here, right? They're too relaxed. Can I, like, break the radio or something? <laughs> How do I get more fishman eggs? I need one more set. Spider wing maintenance. Machine's broken. Arr. To the mines that I can't get through. This is less than helpful. Oh, maybe she saw something that gives me spooky armor. Oh, that was, that was it, okay. Well, that's not, all right. Great. This is a different zone. No, no, oh, we can fish again. No, we already have nasty goo. We don't have enough stench armor for this cat. Oh, what do we do? I'm so stuck. Okay, maybe we'll go to the courtyard. Oh, we're in the courtyard is underground. Got it. Then we're totally stumped. Because I don't know what to do here. Um, hey, you who are there being a nerd. Who? Me? A nerd? Yes, a book reader weakling you look like. This is nerd actions, not tough like a Jocelyn, which is us. I agree. Uh, I strongly object to being characterized as a nerd based solely on my appearance. The Jocelyn's exchange looks. Definitely a nerd. Confirmed. Very. They stand up to approach you, cracking their knuckles. Hey, what are you doing? We are whirl your, swirl your head into a toilet. That is the fate of a nerd. Well, this nerd is a little too book read for you. Another sports drink. Okay. I'm stumped, man. Uh, I don't know how to do this chrome polish thing, so... We've already done the gift shop. All right, I'm gonna just look it up real quick. Two, one, one, two, to make vellum softener. You had to think. You had to think, and I just didn't think. Okay. Make something. Two, one, one, two. Vellum softening juice. We're gonna keep it. And we're gonna use the vellum softener on the book. You carefully drizzle the vellum softener on the book, rendering its pages as soft and supple as the day they were born. I mean bound. Someone's left a bookmark. At a list of alchemical symbols and the various substances they represent, that third hopper is supposed to contain arsenic, as it turns out. You can't find the fourth symbol in here anywhere, though. Okay, arsenic. We need any idea where I can find some arsenic? Oh no, are we arsenic to having out of? Uh, yeah, the hopper's empty. Well, that's not too doing. Professor Gilbert will, uh, of our records to checking a moment. They pull out a binder labeled very poison and very poison's log and flip to the back. Aha, it is that crotch, crotchless again. The what now? Blevin Cratchless, a student, a very much arsenic fan of some reason. Maybe if he any left is to having, you are to going into asking? His address is Hilbert House, room 3A. Hilbert House? Where's that? 
It will be better if Professor Gilbert just to marking it on your map. Thanks. <clears throat> Hilbert House, room 3A. Refuse my tenure, will they? Those fools. I'll destroy them all. Don't try to stop me. Stop you from doing what exactly? I've created the perfect monster formula. All I have to do is mix these two chemicals and an unstoppable legion of beasts will devour this entire building and everyone in it. Hang on a second. Why'd they deny your tenure? They said I haven't published enough original research. The fools! I have created life! Which sounds like a pretty hefty research project. Have you considered, you know, writing down your findings and publishing them? I guess I could do that. I guess? That doesn't sound nearly as fun, though. Oh, stop sulking. Here, I'll lend you my pen. <laughs> we stopped him from destroying the school with monsters. Okay, room... Uh, one... Three, three A, right? We'll fight these guys. We'll dust them. Apoyo Diavola increases the damage of your magical attacks by four. Nice. Any books around here? There's just booze. There's nothing. There's there's nothing. We're gonna fight everybody. We're gonna reach. We got an inspiring ring. Increases companions' muscle mysticality and moxie by two. We got advanced vascular anatomy. Grants a plus max HP perk. Oh yes. Amazing. Comprehensively veined. Oh, extra health. We needed that so badly. We got a rolled up poster. We don't have enough cold armor. We got a paper clip and a match. Wow, this is a great room. Um, do we have any cold armor? We have two. So let's just eat that thing that gives us... Um, what did we eat before? There was... What was it? We bought a thing, right? Is it, um, maybe it's a, a potion? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll drink that. It'll replace all revved up. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Because we're a little bit... Increases stench armor by five. That's nice. Well, we need spooky armor right now, but we can go pet the cat. Take the poster. It's infested with bugs. We solved the puzzle. We got a Mobius cookie. Wow, we're getting a lot of really good stuff right now. Just ransacking this this house and fighting all the vampires. Boom. Get out of here. Drum roller skates. Let's you skate everywhere. That sounds fun. Okay. We can't do anything but fight those guys in this room. I checked just now. You saw me do it. Okay. 2A. We're gonna fight them. We're gonna shoot them. Then we're- ooh. Oh. This is- um, We're gonna actually- We're gonna buff some stats here. I don't think we're gonna kill them in one hit. Yeah. Better to be safer than sorrier. Still nothing. Just a fight. To be, we got the poster. What are we grabbing? Uh, it's clogged with a bunch of nasty wet hair. Grab it. Uh, seriously. Yes. Look, this isn't going to turn out to secretly be some sort of extremely useful piece of equipment or anything. It's literally just a clot of slime and an old hair in a filthy dorm room sink. Grab it. You grab the awful glob and it slides out of the drain with a squelch. Congratulations. That is super gross. There is meat under the pillow. We're getting some rock samples. And we're out of this room. This door is just open. Oh, it's, it goes downstairs. I knew that. 2C. Womb. Lur. It's covered with mushrooms. We got unidentified chemicals. We got 47 point, or 44417 advanced elliptic chemistry. Whew. That's hard to read. We can probably read it though, right? Uh, you look at the first few pages and the only thing you learn is you'd be better off selling this to a used bookstore than trying to comprehend any of it. Let's hang on to it. You never know. We're gonna fight these people that are just, they're just having a party. Boom. Get out of here. 
I wish we could use combat items for like events, you know? Like chug a stench armor potion, but like a combat item. Eat a block of cheese or something right before as an option. Mercury eye drops and gauze pad. Okay. We'll fight these guys. We're shooting at math and dusting math with a rolling pin. Uh, duct tape, not bad. Three physical armor to a hat. I don't know why I keep checking these rooms with combat. There's never anything interesting in them, but one of them is gonna have something interesting. We went in there already. 3B is where we're going, right? No. Okay, we got unidentified chemicals. We got advanced projectile physics. We can read that, right? Swish, cannon cannon, plus one to ranged attacks. That's great. Um, this was the room, I think, 3A. So we got a jar of arsenic, there we go. And we're gonna go through the rest of this house. Wonder how tall it is. We'll fight the robots. We'll shoot them, and then we'll dust them, and they will die. We got another Mobius cookie. Is there anything in here? No, not gonna check. I'm gonna look. Oh, we don't have enough sleaze armor. Yes, it's. I want another glob of white hair. Give it to me. We're gonna solve that. Old timey music's playing on loop. I love it. Gotta, gotta get me some adult woolly. Prove it wrong. We don't have enough moxie. Wow. Uh, what are we imagining? In the top drawer of the family of millipedes appears to have constructed a nest out of some chewed up adult magazines. I'll leave it to you to imagine what that looks like. That sounds gross. In two ways. What are you? What are? What are you? What are you? Why? Why did they do so much damage to my whole party right there? Whoa. All right, next floor. Here we go. We got an old wallet. Maybe there's some meat left in it. 97 meat. Okay. We're solving it. We don't have enough spooky armor. We don't have a lot of armor. Most of our clothing is not armor based. Are they going to curse the whole party again? Not before I... Ooh, maybe they would have. Yikes. Pocket chemical hand warmer. We've gotten some of those before. So it seems like it's a fight on both far ends, right? Oh, what is this? It's like a... A radiation wisp. Okay, we'll, we'll actually take this fight seriously, because they seem to be getting a lot tougher as we're ascending the floors. Yeah. Glad I did it, because that's a lot of poison. Wow. Okay. Uh, ultra condensed soup. Great. That's what I wanted. Stench armor. Everything's getting tougher. Junk mail and two matches. <laughs> It's on fire. End. I think we're gonna lose this fight. I mean, if it goes like before, okay. Who's doing what? This guy's gonna attack, this guy's gonna attack all of us. So I have to get this guy, right? I think it stuns him? Yeah. This is a really hard fight though. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay, we're gonna blast 16 damage worth. Which was totally worth it, I think, unless we die. That was a really hard fight. So, it says this is the end, but... Yeah, I... I what, what is this? Poker? Oh no, I thought I saw these cards, but they're all... It's the diamond wallpaper. Another one. Yeah, some weird hurdy-gurdy music's playing from the radio. Look under the bed. Harvest another impenetrable shellac. And this is a fight that we're not gonna win. So I'm gonna get out of here. Um, we'll come back here when we're more powerful. But we can go put some arsenic in the chemical vat. And I just wanna get done with the school arc as quickly as possible. Bye for now. We will drop in the arsenic. Cool. And we'll make something. 
What do you want to start with? Arsenic. Arsenic, arsenic, arsenic. Uh, you pour it into a vial and run some tests. It appears you made some sort of smoke removing juice that doesn't seem useful. Okay, what about... What if we read the book? Now, how do we do this thing? What was I supposed to be doing? Chrome polish. But we don't know... What we're supposed to be making... We still don't really know. What about arsenic and two mercuries? Made some sort of smoke bleaching juice. Okay, what about arsenic and lead? Smoke purifying juice. So it seems... Oh, I, I don't I don't need that. Um, discard. Maybe now that we know what the chemicals are... We need lead, lead, arsenic, and mercury, right? Asbestos strengthening. Oh boy. I don't know. I I don't know. I'm pulling the guide back up one second. Three, one, three, two. How are we supposed to find these combinations? Three, one, three, two. And that's bronze revivifying juice that we need to keep. And then we need to take that over to the statue. Um, you splash the revivifier on the statue, gradually the metallic bronze color turns into more regular flesh tones, oh, and also clothes, clothes tones. Oh, goodness me, is it Monday already? It's Thursday, sir, Thursday 1928. Well, dash it all, I knew I should have set an alarm. Ah, do forgive me for not introducing myself, I am Dr. Ambrose Adams. I know, I read it on your plaque. Plaque? He steps down off this plinth and looks at it. Marvelous, how very kind of them. My name's ASDF Gaming. A pleasure indeed, 1928, you say? That would make it, hmm, 205 years? So much for the faculty luncheon. Did you bronze yourself deliberately? Yes, quite so. My new formula required testing, you see, and as I had no plans for, of particular import for weekend, I thought perhaps I would skip ahead a bit. A graduate student was instructed to awaken me. If he comes asking me for a letter of recommendation, I shall have some rather stern words for him. He's probably dead. Ah, of course. Well, then I shall call that his just desserts. Anyway, welcome to the future. Thank you, yes, indeed. I find myself rather excited for the pr prospect, you know. Has anything good been invented? They're working on something called television. Apparently it's like moving pictures, except that you'll be able to have one in your own home. Well, I must say that sounds ridiculous. Who ever heard of a moving picture? Wow, yeah, you missed a lot. I suppose I'm in need of a guide. Might I impose to accompany you? Sure. In fact, there's something I think you might be able to help me with. Oh, pray tell, I've got a chemicals assignment that's giving me some trouble. Are you familiar with old alchemy symbols? Ha! Young man, a feline is acquainted with its own anus. Yes. Hey, Molly, mind waiting for me at ASDF's place? Okay, Buck, but it's rude to keep a girl waiting. Um, great. Follow me, Prof. Okay. Talk to him. Oh, it's nice to be back in a laboratory again, smelling that good old chemical smell. Well, to be smelling anything other than bronze is a point of fact. Wait, were you actually conscious while you were bronze? I would rather not speak of it. Okay, um... Bye for now. Ah, uh, Stradolini multi owl alembic Are there still... Are there's Are these still in use in modern times? I would have thought technology would be much more advanced by now. Class I'm taking is pretty introductory. The professor said he was starting with the basics. Ah, uh, I see. Well, that is quite reasonable. Uh, what seems to be the trouble? The last topper's empty, and I don't know what's supposed to go in there. The book doesn't list that symbol. Does it not? How embarrassing. Pray allow me to correct it. He pulls a quill pen and small ink blot out of his pockets and starts writing in the book. Uh, should you be doing that? Why not? It's my book after all, still in good condition, I'm pleased to see. That is the advantage of a proper vellum page over paper, of course, and my colleagues made fun of me for being old-fashioned. Well, I don't see their shoddy paper books in the classroom, haha. -ha. He blows gently on the ink to dry it and gestures grandly toward the book. There you are, duly corrected. Okay. Someone's left a bookmark at a list of chemical symbols. He's added a new element to the list, indicating the fourth symbol stands for lithium. Okay, you know where I can get some lithium? Lithium, hmm, that is tricky for to getting, but you to knowing, Professor Gilbert did to hearing a soda company that putting lithium in sodas was a year previous. What? Why? Lithium to making you thirsty, a feedback loop of very profit. Unfortunately, lithium also you very confused to making, and your bowels either none at all or way too much, the business they going out of. 
Well, rats, that's not much help then. Ah, but their factory is in Ocean City is still where it is. So perhaps a quantity of lithium there are you two finding? Okay, good, 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 good. We need to go to the bus stop, go to Ocean City. This is the most convoluted major. Why did I have to pick chemicals? I mean, come on. We're gonna fight the orbs. We're gonna... What does this chemistry professor do? Well, the world may never know. Todd grows stronger. Um, we're gonna look around. Okay, I guess we'll just go in. This place is pretty abandoned, all right? All that's left is a metal storage cabinet and a few crates of empty soda bottles. Not even any bottle caps left. Fooey. Okay, well, there's a cabinet. Have a look. It looks like a pretty standard four-digit combination. We're gonna magic it open. We got a bag of loose lithium. It's enough lithium to pacify 10,000 maniacs or to pacify a single maniac on 10,000 separate occasions. Nice. Nailed shut, but it feels full. Okay. While we're in Ocean City, there was, at the park, I believe, a shop for pets. And I think... Botano- is it- no, it's not the botanical garden. It's the butterfly area, maybe? No, you know what? It's in- it's in a different zone. Let's just go to the campus. It's in the second zone, I think. And we will go to the chemicals wing. Now that we have the lithium, um, we're gonna walk through the steam. We've seen that before. And we get experience for it, which is quite amazing. Do we have any books we can read? Uh, no. Well, kind of, but no. All right, drop in the bag of lithium. It's now full of lithium. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll make something. Now, I still don't know how to go about making this. The guide says four, one, two, three. Um, chrome polishing, vial of chrome polish, and we're gonna leave. I honestly don't know. Oh, uh, I've finished. Then take a rag and sample of chromed metal out of a desk drawer and test your polish. Uh, yes, yes, this is good for of a polish well to doing. Thanks. You have to passing this class with colorful flight. Professor Gilbert will to signing transcript of yours and gladness. You've completed your major. You have graduated. Sweet. Maybe it was written somewhere? Let me see. Lamp? No, but it's not even up here. I have no idea how to do any of that stuff. Um, but we did graduate, so I believe we can go back to the main lobby. Why do we even need to graduate? Uh, matches, matches. Uh, hmm, hold these for a second, would you? We got miscellaneous chemicals. What are they? Oh, a little of this and a little of that. You may go on holding them if you have a use for them. I've got plenty. Pockets, Adams. They used to call me in graduate school, you know, except for a brief period in which they called me arson, but that little mishap was quickly cleared up and forgotten about. Go to admissions now. Back in March, we go to the library. Oh, we were here for a book, right? Hi there, Ted. I passed my classes, see? You had and Ted your transcript and he inspects it carefully. After a moment he nods, hands you back the transcripts and gestures to the door with a thumb. Thanks, Ted. Now we're in the stacks of books. That's an interesting thing. This old man is chanting something in a language you can't understand, apparently conducting some kind of dark ritual with a rather important looking book, which you'll have already noticed is generating some kind of ominous dark portal. Um, hang on, I wanna take a screenshot real quick. Uh, we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna... Boom. That was the wrong button. That, that was not at all. That's, that's, that's... Hold on. Okay, there we go. Got a screenshot. I... Oh, wrong buttons. Hello again. Ah, oh, look, this ritual is complicated. Leave me alone. Who are you? You don't recognize me? Should I? I've only been enrolled here for an afternoon. I'm Dean Wormwood, and if you don't leave immediately, I'll expel you. I already graduated. I'm out of this dimension. Oh. Uh, what are you actually doing? Didn't I just tell you not to interrupt me? Yeah, but you've already been interrupted now, so you might as well tell me, right? Oh, yes, certainly. I'll just reveal my entire plan to some random grad student or whoever you are. That would certainly be to my advantage. Would it, or are you being sarcastic? A stellar observation. Full marks. Now get out of here before I put you on double secret probation. Jeez, you don't have to be so sore about it. 
You know, I'm pretty sure you've got your focusing diagram wrong. Oh yes, and what do you know about it, hmm? Well, I know the square goes there and the hexagon goes there. You, you, you've got them switched. What? But... Oh, oh, I get it. You've used an old compass. West is north now and you have to flip across this diagonal, see? What? But that doesn't... that doesn't make any... As the Dean frantically scans his handiwork, you casually put a hand on his shoulder and give him a straight arm shove toward the portal. He stumbles and screeches in pain and terror as he's sucked into it with a whoosh, like a mouse caught by a shot back. And then the portal vanishes with a quiet pop. Okay. Um, should we take the book? Should we look around? Oh, hobo code. Ooh, grants a plus meat drops perk. I'll read that. Boom. Expert panhandlery. Plus 25% meat drops. Uh, and there is another portable hole here. Not really a portable hole. Is it a portable hole? Is it? Is it? I thought it was... Oh, it's on the bottom shelf. Okay. I thought we saw it like through the books, but apparently it's a crazy book. Check it out as an examine it or borrow it from the library. Both. We've got a Libra Umbra Malum Ovila. It's evil. Okay, also we're gonna take... Um... Step through into the Shadow Rift. N nope. N nope. Maybe open. O-P-E-N. O open. Oh boy, okay. We need open. We need... Um... Ah... Uh, Book, we need book, B, O, O, come on, okay, that's, that's open book. Guys, we are so smart, we are so smart, we can close over the shadow pliers, oh baby, look at that, I don't know what the point of going in there was, but we closed it. Oh wait, this is just a copy of the student handbook. There's nothing unusual about it. Well shoot, that cursed book has got to be around here somewhere though. I was going to say, we already got the book. So, alright, well, that does it for today. We have finished our job at the college campus, and that takes us to the end of the time that we have for this episode. So thank you guys for coming on by. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And uh, it's one or two clicks for you. It really does help me out a ton. As always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and or weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one.